Lance. How are you doing? Hey, John. Uh, we're back to talking about Yahweh and Yeshua, the Son, Jesus, the Son of God. Yes, I know. And when he came, his disciples on one occasion asked him how to pray. And he started the, the prayer with, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed or holy be your name. How is it that we can come in to such an intimacy with such an awesome God? Mm. That's a great point. I, I've, I've, I've thought about that a lot. Because most people think of God as this sort of powerful, omnipotent ruler, the almighty God. And he is almighty. Uh -huh. But the wonderful news is we can know him personally as our father, Abba. The Hebrew word would be Abba, father. I remember the first time I went to Jerusalem and heard little children following their dads around in the, in the shopping in the markets and saying, Abba, Abba, <laughs> and realizing that's the kind of relationship we can have yeah. with God, with Yahweh, with the God of creation, the Almighty One. So so we call him Father. Now, now uh, what's the problem? In, in First uh, John... It talks about, uh, it gives us a, a kind of a definition of if people really go off the rails. If they, if they go off track, you know, we talk about the Antichrist. Uh, a lot of people want to talk about the Antichrist, yes. but we really want to talk about the Christ, the Messiah. And, and it's about a relationship. It's about the relationship of the Messiah, Yeshua, with his father, Yahweh. So what, what about that? This verse leads us into the quintessential definition of who is Antichrist. Who is a liar? Now what's but the reference? It is um, 1 John chapter 2, verse 22. All right. And it starts out with who is a liar. But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ or the Messiah, Messiah right. he is an Antichrist or Anti-Messiah who denies the Father and the Son. And who denies the Father and the Son. That's that right. So you can deny the Son, you deny Jesus, that would be Antichrist, or if you deny that God is a Father, that's, that's right. Antichrist. That's absolutely ooh, true. Ooh, ooh. That is good. All right. Whoever denies the Son does not have the Father either. He who acknowledges the Son has the Father also, wow, that's wonderful. So we're talking about you can't have even salvation in Jesus without having that relationship with the Father. In fact, that's why Jesus came was to bring us to the Father. That's that's what it's all about. And yet we we deny the Father, and and certainly that's what Islam does. It denies that that their God is a Father. So that can't be the God that that John the Beloved is talking about in 1 John chapter 2, verses 22 and 23. He's Absolutely. talking about, it this, is, is, this is the God of the Bible. It is not. Furthermore, it, is, it says that the one who denies the Son has to automatically deny the Father. Well, it makes perfect sense that to be a father, you have to have prodigy. Right. And if you if you don't and you deny that, then this has given us the 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 essence of the definition of of antichrist. Wow, that's and it's pretty simple too. It's not this isn't rocket science. This is no. pretty clear. This is it's, it's black and very white, very clear, right there, very clear. Wow. Well, I, I think our time is up for today, but that was pretty exciting. Uh, we'll have to just keep going on here and see what the Lord has to share and talk a little bit more about. Uh, Yahweh and His Son, Yeshua. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, I like to say that uh, Jesus, we, we Christians have no problem saying Jesus, Son of God. But if you said it in Hebrew, it would be Yeshua ben Yahweh. That would be His name in Hebrew. So we'll talk some more about uh, the Father and the Son. All right? Thanks, John. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs>